Hey fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today we're gonna to be testing out the ShotScope Pro LX Rangefinder. ShotScope did send this to us to test out, but we're gonna give you our honest feedback at home. We're gonna get this thing unboxed, we're gonna get it out to the golf course, and give you our feedback on this product. It's really three products in one, so we're excited to show it to you. Stay tuned, that's coming at you right now. Let's get it started. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome to Garage Golf. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf technology, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, click that bell notification for more videos like the one that you're watching here today. And of course, if you have any questions on any golf simulator products or golf products in general, make sure to hit me up at Roland at mygaragegolf.com. I want to be your go-to person if you're looking for anything golf simulator related, golf product related. We got some great context I'd like to hook you up with answer any questions you have, and uh, we look forward to doing that and helping you here in the future. Let's take this to the computer, let's get it unboxed, and then we'll get you out on the golf course and show you this product in more detail. I can't wait to see the final product. What's the product? All right, so we have the actual box here, as you see. I'm gonna go ahead and open it without hopefully cutting my finger. So before I get this box open for you at home, let's go ahead and discuss some of the features that this incredible product has, and we'll kind of go into that in a little bit more detail as well. So this is going to be, um, if you actually watched our video before, we have actually reviewed some other ShotSco products that we've taken a look at. And we know that it has about a 900 yard range for the product as well, which is really, really good. It's easy to lock onto the target. It has the dual uh, red and black optics as well, which is something that, uh, that we really enjoy. And also for me being colorblind, it helps me a little bit as well. So here's the box as we're opening everything. And you may see a little bit of a glare because of the lights, but want to be able to make sure that you can see it clearly. There is seven times magnification on this device as well. And inside the box, easiest unboxing of all time. This is the little package that comes with it. This is the carrying case. And as you see the back here, everything's all in one device. And other than that, all we really have in here is we have some user guides, instructions, other things that uh, we typically learn on the fly. Get a cool little cleaning cloth as well that you can clean it with. And then of course you have the lanyard, this can attach to your golf bag as well. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let's talk a little bit more about what the ShotScope Pro LX will give you. So it does have adaptive slope technology. You can turn the slope on or off, which is nice. Make it legal for tournament play. There's the case again. Here it comes in the plastic as you see here. Uh, let's talk about rapid fire detection, easy to lock onto the target. That makes it really easy to click and lock onto that target as we've talked about before. Um, it has a comfort stability grip. And if you see the side, it has a little spot for your thumb here that you can easily hold. That makes it easy to lock on, hold with two hands. Uh, for someone with shaky hands like me, really, really cool. I like that. Um, you can get the distances in yards or meters. Seven times magnification it has a very clear lens. Uh, it does have an adjustability here as well that can allow you to focus on it. Um, let's say adjustable eyepiece. It's accurate to within one yard total distance. It is water resistant, so if you're out in the rain and the elements, you could still use this potentially. Uh, a 12 month limited warranty on the device. It does have a C123 battery or a CR123 battery, just like the other devices that we've tested. It does come in three colors. Uh, this is the gray, and when I say color, I mean this line that you see right here, basically. I believe it also comes in blue and orange as well. So if you want a little bit of flair to your device, that's also something that you can check out also. And again, uh, GPS compatible. So this is gonna be three devices in one that we'll walk you through. I'll go over everything with you here in just a few more moments and kind of show it to you before we take you out on the golf course. All right, so overall, pretty cool device in the Pro LX. Now you do have an option to upgrade to the Pro LX Plus, which will include a GPS device as well, um, as well as club sensors that you can test out. So hopefully we'll be able to afford the opportunity to show you that here in the future. Uh, but this is basically gonna be very similar to the Pro L1 that we've tested here on the channel with a few ergon ergonomic differences, a few updates and enhancements. So we'll take this out to the golf course and show you a little bit more in detail about what makes this product unique, test it out for you and give you our feedback. So let's go ahead and jump out to the golf course now. We're looking forward to showing you this product. All right, and just a quick update. I did reach out to ShotScope since the video where we unbox the Pro LX model. Model, model. And I actually did request uh, to be able to review the actual full model. This model? So you can actually upgrade the ShotSco Pro LX to the Pro LX Plus by adding this device here, which you see is the H4 GPS handheld device. So, handheld. 
and it's a really, really cool item. So I'm gonna unbox that for you really quickly and show you what's inside. We'll just do it right here and kind of give you an idea. And I wanna show you kind of what comes in the actual box as well. So if you were to get this device, this is going to add this little GPS. GPS. Device that you see here. So might not show up too, too well with the light, but it's a little GPS light that I'll show you here a little bit closer. And um, it's basically going to attach directly to our range finder that I've already shown you. So it'll have all the distances, it have pretty much all the data that you're gonna need on it. And the cool thing is it comes with a little belt clip. So this is the whole device here. You can actually clip it to a belt if you were using it or you can just put it in your pocket. So let's say that you're going to, let me toss this. Let's say that you're going to go hit a, a shot in and around the green. You don't want to take the range finder with you. You're not using a watch or anything like that. You can put this in your pocket, pull it out, see exact distances that you're going to actually need to hit that shot, all without having to bring everything with you. So really, really cool. Now, it also comes, which is another benefit, with these, which are 16, actually 16 club sensors. Got your sensors? And these will go at the butt end of your club. Now, my normal clubs I use have a actual sensor in them. I'm not sure quite yet if they'll integrate with this. Most likely not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on my sticks golf clubs. Grab the sticks! See if I can pull one of these out and show you. So here you see, this one's labeled lob wedge. So just a little sensor that goes in the butt end of your club. And it has 16 of them on here. 16? So I'm gonna go ahead and set all these up on my clubs as well, so we can get out there and test it for you on the golf course. <laughs> Butterfingers. And then it also has a little carabiner clip as well for the GPS device. And let's see what comes in this box. This is actually a charging cord uh, for the GPS device itself. So in between rounds, you're gonna wanna charge that device also. Let me get the range finder and show you how this is gonna work together in conjunction. All right, so here's the GPS device again. Here's the range finder, as you've seen on the video already. Now this piece right here will pop off. It's gonna pop! It's like magnetic, it actually pops in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this GPS sensor and that's going to magnetically stick in that device there. So, you're using it, you test it out, you check it, you pull up your actual distance, you'll actually be able to see it on the GPS as well. And then, if you wanna take it with you, you take it with you to the green, in and around the green for your little short shot. So, we're really looking all together at really three devices in one, as we talked about. We got your range finder, we have your GPS sensor, and we have the club data markers as well that's going to reflect shots and be able to track everything that you're doing as well. Plus, for an even fourth bonus, we have a two-in-one device that's going to have not only GPS, but an actual rangefinder feature as well. So that's pretty cool in my book. Oh, that is pretty cool. Not ever seen anything like this and it's out in the market and I'm excited to test it out on the golf course. So as we stated, let's go ahead and get this out to the golf course now. I'm excited to bring to you the Pro LX Plus model in full detail. If you have any questions on any of the devices or anything and how this gets partnered together, again, reach out to me anytime, Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. I wanna be here to answer any questions that you have. Let's get this out to the golf course. We're gonna take it out there. Um, if you have any specific products, once we're done reviewing this, let me know anytime, reach out to me and uh, we'll get your questions answered. So, we're gonna be probably taking this out to Alsatian. We'll take a look and see where we can get out there to play some golf. And uh, we'll show you guys at home a little bit more about the ShotScope Pro LX Plus. Answer any questions you have from there. Thanks again. All right, so Libby and I are out here at Alsatian Golf Course and we're getting ready to start a round here on our app. We got the ShotScope app on our phone. I did put the actual club sensors as well into each of the clubs. And I went ahead and marked that in the app. So that's a pretty easy process. It walks you through that pretty quick and easy. You got the GPS device that's asking me to connect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect device here on my phone. Now it says setting up and device has been connected. So that's pretty much all you gotta do right now on the phone. Now, hold that for me. On the GPS device itself, which you see here, I'm gonna scroll over. Now we have the play option, which we'll select here. 
and we're going to use GPS plus tracking. Um, that's going to also include the club sensors that we set up. Now it's locating the GPS on the device. It found Alsatian Golf Course, which is where we're at today. And here it has the actual distances already set to go. We're going to put that back into our device. Now we're going to do a review a few different ways. Number one, I'm going to review it with just the rangefinder for a first hole or so. Uh, then we'll use the rangefinder and the GPS device. And then I'm actually going to show you the club sensors as well during our review here today. Let's get started. All right, so we're out here on the second hole. This is going to be a par four with a dog leg to the left. There's going to be some water involved. So I'm going to shoot it to see how far it's going to be to the water. I get about 275 of the water, so I'll probably hit something like a three wood here. And um, I have actually 309 to the green, so it's going to be almost directly in line with where that water starts. You'll see as we get down there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a three wood and see how we do on this one. All right, I'm down on the right side, pretty bad shot. All right, so my GPS has me 160 to the center of the green, but I'm gonna shoot it as well with the range finder. And I get 168, so it's nice using both. In all honesty, uh, in regards to the regular use of a range finder, I'm not gonna do too much on this video. If you've seen our Pro L1 review on the, on the actual product, very similar, uh, but the cool thing about this one, it has an ergonomic thumb area where you can kind of hold it. I feel like the most of the time, the way I'm gonna use this is gonna be just like this with the GPS attached to it. So I can shoot it and also get a GPS reading. I think that's the best way to go. So I got a little, I'm actually just gonna lay up from here. I'm gonna hit it down there and see if I can get a closer shot and hopefully go for par. Should be okay down there. And now I'll be hitting, hopefully to get on the green. All right, so GPS has me at 75 to the center. Oh, 75 to the front, 90 to the center, and 108 to the back. I actually have 90 of the flag stick with 85 with the slope. So this does have slope as well, which you can be turned off right here, on or off, to make it legal for tournament play as well. Um, it locks on the target right away. It's really, really cool. But in different circumstances, if I'm a little closer to the green, I'll probably just pop the GPS device off, as you see here, and just walk and take this with me instead of having to take the whole device. So we'll uh, show you that in further, further down the road on the video. All right, so I'm going to hit a pitching wedge from here. A little windy today. See how we do. Right off the side of the green. We're going to have to try to get lucky for part. All right, so we got a tough little putt here. I'm going to try to putt from off the, off the green here. And uh, I'm a little bit better putter than I would be a chipper, but let's see how we do. Green's looking a little rough on this hole. That broke pretty hard to the right. So let's see if we can get that in for bogey. All right, so first hole using the Pro LX Plus. I love the combination of having the GPS and the device itself. I really do like that a lot. Uh, it's a really cool feature and I'm gonna be using that throughout the day today. So let's go ahead and move on to the next hole. All right, so we're on hole number three. It's a par three. Let's go ahead and shoot it with the range finder again. Okay, I got 154, 157 with the slope and the GPS has me at 149. So obviously I take the range finder to be a little more accurate but it's still nice having both options when you need it in a pinch or you don't want to have to carry it with you. As, as we get closer to the green, we'll have more shots where we just take the GPS device with us and uh, take a look at that. But I do like that. It's very small, fit it right in your pocket. They actually have a belt loop that goes with it for those that tuck their shirts in. And uh, that's a nice feature as well for when you're using the actual club tracking data also. So, Okay, so 147, I would normally use a seven iron, but the wind's blowing very, very hard in our face. I'm gonna go down to a six iron and we'll see if we can get it on the green over there. It's going right at it. And it went to the bunker because the wind knocked it down. Awesome. That was a great shot. The wind killed it, nothing I can do. All right, so this is going to be one of the times I don't want to take the actual rangefinder with me, so we're just going to roll with the GPS. 
Okay, so obviously I can see the flag stick, but it has me as being 17 yards to the flag stick from here. So let's see how we do out of this bunker, see if we can get it up there. Nope, but we got it out. All right, let's chip one, hopefully get it close. All right, not bad. All right, so we're in for bogey. Um, again, nice to have the versatility to take the GPS off the device itself. Not helping me play any better golf quite yet, but uh, I'm still enjoying it, having a great time reviewing it today. Okay, so now we're gonna be using the club tracking data. I'm gonna use this for this hole, just to kind of give you an idea on how this works. Uh, all I gotta do is touch this up to the sensor, and now you'll see the D right there. That stands for driver, obviously, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot and show you how far we hit it. Now, when I get up to my next shot, right before I hit again, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're out there, I'm gonna be up on the, hopefully on the top part of that hill before the trees. And we'll go up there, we'll take our next shot. All right, so here we are driving up to my golf ball. We just took that driver shot. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull up next to the ball. And again, this hole, I'm just gonna use a GPS device. So now it has me at 258 to the hole. I'm gonna try to get something over these trees here um, and just try to get me something that I could then hit onto the green, hopefully putt for birdie. So let's go ahead and use, um, probably gonna need something like a seven iron. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a seven iron now from our bag. And I'm gonna do is stand right next to where I'm gonna be hitting. And again, if you have this on your belt, it makes it a little easier, but I'm just gonna tap it here. And now on the device, it shows seven iron. And we're ready to take our next shot. Okay, so we got up over the trees. We're gonna be on the left side of the fairway down there. hit a tree, bounce back near the sidewalk. So let's go and take the next shot. All right, so we got a lucky break there, hit that tree and bounce over here into the fairway. So I got lucky. Um, so I have 77 yards now to the center of the green, 88 to the, well, I'm sorry, 88 yards to the center, 77 to the front, 97 to the back. So I'm gonna use an 88 yard club. Let me grab that real quick. So I grabbed the 52 degree and now I'm gonna go ahead and tap it. And since I've labeled it on the app, it's gonna be labeled as gap wedge. And we're ready to take our shot. Okay, nice shot near the flag stick. Let's see if we can make a putt for once. All right, so we're probably, what, about 10 feet away or so. And I'm looking forward to hopefully getting a par. Let's see how we do. Now, you do gotta do the same thing with the putter. Now that we're on the green, I'm gonna tap the putter. Okay, brings up what shows us pin collect. And now we're ready to take our putt. Whew, that was a little fast, almost missed it, but we're in for par. So. As you go throughout your entire round, it will track your shots. You're going to be able to see distances as you go back on the app later on. Overall, really cool feature. If you don't need, if you don't want to actually track your shots, that's okay too. You can use it without the actual tracking devices. Um, but it's definitely a cool feature that I feel is pretty neat. You'll be able to track and see how many shots you took, out, what your average distances are. And that's definitely something that I feel is a really, really cool appeal to the ShotScope Pro LX Plus. All right, and just to show you really quick, because I did have the whole round set up, whereas if I was going to tag the clubs, and I didn't do that except for the one hole. So I wanted to show you what it would look like if you were to go through a round and actually tag the clubs, just so you have an idea on what it looks like. So this is the hole that we just played, and you're going to see that I hit the driver here at 210 yards. So I, I tagged it, I hit my driver shot, and then when I hit my 7-iron shot from the second distance, I tagged it again. So that tracked it at 210 yards. 
So then you see I hit the seven iron, got lucky with a couple of bounces on the sidewalk, and hit that seven iron actually 180, bringing me to about 89 yards. Hit the 52 degree, actually hit it on the green, and one putt, I didn't even realize it at the time, but actually birdied the hole. Uh, just kind of had a rough day today, but this shows you how it will work as you tag those clubs. Really, really cool, and then a one putt. So that is exactly how you would do it if you go through an entire round. So that's just something I wanted to show you. I thought it was important that you saw it. It's super easy to do. All you got to do is tag your club before you hit that next shot, and it's definitely something that I plan on doing the next time I'm out there throughout the entire round. But on today's video, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea on how it works. So you'll be able to see how it works here, give you an idea. You're going to be able to track your clubs and track your data, see how far you hit that shot. Really cool stuff. And then, again, it's going to also it's also will take your score in the end. Um, so you'll have a final scorecard and everything that you can go through back on the app once you finish and you've uploaded everything. So really, really cool stuff. Let's keep moving on with the video. But I just thought I'd show you how this worked and how you can expect for it to look on your end once you purchase the ShotScope Pro LX Plus and actually use those club sensors. All right, so this is gonna be the last hole that we play here today. I'm gonna to go back to using this the traditional way with both the GPS and the rangefinder. This has me at 287 yards to the center of the green there. This is potentially a drivable par four. I have 285 yards, so pretty accurate on that one. So one other thing I wanna show you is on the actual H4 device, which is the GPS, we can actually scroll over and you see this little exclamation point right here in the upper right hand corner so you push the button and it will show you layups as well as well as distances to water so 191 132 to the water on the left side i believe and then 130 145 to the end of the water on the right side so it gives you an idea on pretty much all the water distances that you need which is pretty cool so there again 133 to the front 192 133 and 149 so it gives us distances to the water on both the right and the left-handed side just so you have an idea and there's a water on the right there's a water on the left and if you show them on camera there's the distances that we see there as well let's hit our driver and see how we do headed towards the right side hopefully it'll stay up right near the sidewalk most likely i think we'll be in okay shape there all right, let's see if we end up strong here. I have 84 to the center on the GPS. Now, if your uh, range finder ever gets blurry, there is a dial here that you can adjust, which actually will focus, which is nice. And I got 88 to the flagstick. So again, you're always gonna notice a discrepancy between the GPS and the range finder, with the range finder being more accurate. The only time I would use the GPS by itself is if you're close to the green and you're gonna be chipping for a shot, nothing like a full shot or anything like that. But this, this comes in really, really handy when you don't wanna to have to carry this to the green. And uh, just honestly helps you keep from losing this device if you set it down somewhere and just walk away. So I do like that feature as well. Now the Pro LX Plus does come in different colors. Uh, I believe it comes in the gray that you see here. Uh, I believe it also comes in orange and I believe it's blue, the other one. So. Um, nice that you have some color options. Nice that you have some different things that you know you can choose from with the device. Overall, I've been using it throughout the round. Very, very ergonomic. It feels great in your hands. I've been a big fan of that, and uh, something that I'm really, really been enjoying testing today. All right, coming back towards the flag. A little long, but we got a putt for birdie. First time today. Thank God. All right, and again, as you see, the wind is absolutely howling out here. So I'm gonna try to get this close and see if we can at least get a par out of this. <sighs> Just burned the lip. Look, Ma, no hands. That's coming up in a future video. All right, we're in for two pars in a row. We started off really rough, but we ended up pretty strong. All right, so overall assessment of the ShotScope Pro LX Plus rangefinder is it's by far the best I've tested up until this point. Um, I love the GPS device. I've not seen this with anything else. 
to be able to add that to this device, basically making it not only one product, not only two products, but with the club sensors, three products in one, really, really cool. Um, I like the, it was really quick to connect to the app. It got everything set up. It worked well. Um, and again, with ShotScope, you know what you're going to get with the rangefinder. You're going to get great quality. Again, we've reviewed other products from ShotScope before. The Pro L1, very similar. You get the red and black. Uh, as far as everything that you get to see with the, the optics on it, you get a nice ergonomic grip. It's good for people with shaky hands like myself to be able to lock on to the target. And I just had a great time testing the product today. Um, my, my whole review, I would say I'd give this about 4.75 stars out of five. Um, the only thing I'd like to maybe see on a future device that I've seen on some others is a magnet to maybe attach it to the actual golf cart. Um, but other than that, you really can't get a much better product than what you see here with the ShotScope Pro LX. So if you have any questions, reach out to me anytime, Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. I want to be your go-to person. Also check the link in our video description um, so you can purchase your own ShotScope Pro LX Plus. If you have any questions on the H4 product, which is the GPS, let me know as well. I'm here to answer any questions you have. I will give you my honest opinion no matter what and um, let you know what we think about it. But overall, I've had a really great time testing it here today. So until the next time, as always, we'll see you on the next one and keep on golfing. Thanks again.